G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through $2 coins again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, we've got my $2 collection book here, from the Royal Australian Mint, partly filled with the commemorative coins that we've found so far, and we're still trying to fill in a lot of these gaps. Been going for a while, but these coloured and commemorative coins are pretty hard to find in circulation. So, let's put the book away and get into the coins so that we can see if we can find some of these. As I'll be going through the coins, I'll mainly be looking at the coins for the colour, which is quite easy to spot, obviously, but I'll also be looking for any dates where we have years of low mintage, and I'll be looking on the coins themselves for any errors or any variations to what we would usually see. That is the Aboriginal Alder, that's the standard $2 coin. And so anything that is not of that design is considered to be a commemorative coin. Although the 2016 changeover coin has an Aboriginal Elder on it and the commemorative design is the only obverse, which is the side with the Queen's head. And it has a different design on that side. And we look for that as the commemorative for the 50th anniversary of the changeover to decimal currency. There's a few of those, but they are still also hard to find. Generally we call Sort of a scarce coin anything that was minted around about the two million coin mark a lot of our colored commemorative coins are at that two million mark including the coins that are minted in australian legal tender by in conjunction with uh, corporate programs such as Woolworths and the like but some of the colored coins are quite easy to come by in some parts of the country because there are coins with a much higher mintage but generally after about four or three or four four or five years even a, a coin where there was two million of them minted can become quite hard to find in circulation Another coin that I'll be looking out for is the 2011 Aboriginal Elder. That's the lowest minted of the circulating $2 coins. And I'll also be looking for a year of 1991. And the reason I look out for that is because the Aboriginal Elder was not minted for circulation in that year. It was minted in sets and here is a nice coin. We have the 2021 Aboriginal flag anniversary from 1971 to 2021, 50 years of the Aboriginal flag. That's how it looks. The way that the minting process is though, is that usually you would have the black on the top and the red on the bottom because of a mass production printing process. Doesn't always, it's not always an exact the right orientation, but that is a nice coin. I haven't had one of those for a while. And it is the Royal Australian Mint issued coin. One of the ones that I'm trying to look for. And that's got quite a bit of gunk on it. Oh, and another colored coin after the gunky one. We have a Matilda's coin. This is from 2023. It has the memorial effigy on it. $2 from 2023. It's got a green ring and it's got the square design and it's celebrating the Matildas in the FIFA Women's World Cup that was held in Australia New Zealand in 2023. Wrapped up not that long ago. The women's Spanish Women's Club team won the World Cup. The Matildas got knocked out in the semis. It was quite sad, but the way of the world it's a nice coin too relatively new it's got a bit of gunk on it probably could 
clean up with a bit of slightly soapy water. But you don't, you shouldn't clean your coins, certainly not with any uh, abrasive type cleaners or rubbing them with uh, harsh chemicals and cloths. Oh, that hit the floor. Pick that up. Oh, I was hoping that 2015 was something good. I'm not saying that I'm looking for the 1991, which is not intended for circulation. If I find one of those, it has come out of a set. And there are other $2 coins that you could conceivably find that have come out of sets. The uh, Tooth Fairy would be a very good example of that. Comes on a card, sold to collectors, but could have, well, if you find it in circulations, it would definitely have come from, from a card because they weren't issued into circulation. So I'm looking at the years, I'm looking at the rims, I'm looking at the faces to see if there's anything wrong with it. When I see, a, when it comes up on the obverse side like this and I see a coin that says 2001, I know that it's not gonna be a colored coin because the fir very first colored coin was in 2012, the red poppy. So when I come across an obverse that's before then I know it's not going to be a coloured coin and obviously when I come across the Aboriginal elder unless it's possibly going to be a 2016 it's not going to be anything of any note so in my mind it allows me to focus on the other things that I'm looking for the errors and the uh, varieties So there's, usually on the $2 hunts, I give coin news. There's not much that I can give in news at this point. I've spoken about what's been coming up a few weeks ahead, so I'm a bit unsure of what's happened as of the day of posting. But I know that as of today, there's no new coins coming out. There's no new determinations by the Royal Australian Mint on the government website to say what's coming up in the future. So coin news is a bit slim, a bit light on. There we go. So we're halfway there, a bit more. So really all I need to focus in on is the coins that we've got in front of us, looking for what would be nice just to find even a, an Invictus Games from 2018, which is a non-coloured commemorative coin, that would be nice. It's been tough to find some of the coins for the book lately. Tough to find any coin, any coloured coins. But what, what I might do is see how we go with. Uh, Oh, another one on the floor, that's not great. Ah, uh, there we go. We have a 2022, I saw that there, but that's a standard obverse because the 2022 Commonwealth Games team has the denomination on the reverse there. This is the U from the AUNS series that went along with the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham in 2022. It is a corporate program coin, which means it was issued through Woolworths. So it's not going to go in the book, but it's a nice colour coin to come across in this time of... Hard to find colored coins. Oh my goodness. Why am I having so much trouble today? So we'll 
we'll see how we go when we get to the end. And I will, even now, have a plan that if I can get more $2 coins, I will come back and do more hunting. But we'll see how that pans out. It's quite, uh, quite quiet on the $2 pallet coin front, certainly here in Melbourne, when, where I get my coins from. I know there are other people hunting in other places who are finding coloured coins, so it's not like they're not out there, they are around, just in different places. Twelve. Wow, look at that. Look at the quality of that. Gold poppy. Wow, that is spectacular. That's come out of someone's collection. Wow, 2012. There's a little bit of shorts up there. The top maybe it has been sitting around in a drawer, but that is a fantastic gold poppy. That will go into a flip because that is so good. I've rarely seen quality grade of that, of a gold poppy that that high. That's a nice find. And that is an 11 year old coin. Would have been great had it have been a gold poppy, geez. Imagine that. But we continue to try and find that gold poppy and all of the other coloured coins. I can't get over how shiny that is. But we're on the last roll. So hopefully we've got some last roll luck. But as I say, we will have a look through the roll and then we'll see if I have the opportunity to get more coins or if we'll close out the, the video. We're nearly there, 2018. Some of these years are really would be great if we could pick up some colour, but no, that is not going to happen. So what I have picked up right now is this spectacular specimen of a gold poppy. Try not to touch the faces too much. We've got the U coin from the 2022 Commonwealth Games. We have a Matilda's coin from the Women's FIFA World Cup, Women FIFA Women's World Cup in 2023 with a memorial effigy on it. We've got an Aboriginal flag coin from 2021, which is a very nice coin. Quickly, I'm pretty sure we have that. Yes, we do have that for the book, so nothing for the book at this stage. Well, how's about that for a jump cut, hey? Uh, was able to get out and get some more Two dollar coins had to go to a couple of different banks, but let's continue with looking for coloured coins and Royal Australian Mint coins. I'll put I'll put my seeing glasses on, and let's get back into looking for something from the Royal Australian Mint that will go into the book. So it might uh, be a bit, a bit quieter in this second half as we go through the coins. Pretty much said all that I really needed to say. Oh, look at that. That's nice. That is very nice. The Paralympic coin from 2016. 
Olympic Games in Rio. So that's a very that's another very nice coin that we can add to the wider collection. So we might, who knows, we might uh, might find some of those very nice coins. Now that we've uh, doubled up, is that uh, rim cab? No. We'll do the Prosecco rolls first. How about that? And then we'll go onto the Armagard rolls. See if we can make something out of that. Give it a bit of uh, a bit of a chance for both cash handling companies to provide us with Roll Australian Mint product because. Gives us a wider variety of. There's another 2018 with what looks like a die fill on the eight, as well as the two. Yeah, that's a bit of die fill. Harder to see. Put that one to the side. So if you're taking your coins back to the particular bank where you got your coins from, if it was Prosiga or Armaguard, your, those coins will go to different cash sorting centres. And there's a 2019 at Jody Clark, that's a lower minted coin as well. So we'll keep that. That'll be a low minted keeper. There's a 13, that would have been nice if it was a coronation. So I get the opportunity to uh, double up on the different cash centers and see what is out there. It'd be nice to find some of the mid-team coins that have been coming through in other noodlers' hunts around the country. Especially some of the ones with a little bit bigger mintage. Like the Eternal Flame would be good. That's over five million, but I see very, very few of them here in Melbourne for some reason. I don't know where they particularly turned up. What part of the country? But it'd be nice at their very large mintage to find one of those. Was that a 19 Jody Clark? I don't think so. No. Well, that was a 2012, that would have been good. It'd be a red poppy. But we continue on searching, searching for those error coins and those color coins. Now that's our first armor guard roll. Let's get cracking into the second one. We're very excited that we can find some decent coins, especially after we find a couple of those first couple of rolls. There's another 12. Those years, they still turn up. But obviously much higher mintages for the Aboriginal elders in the years when there was coloured coins as well. We get at least as many lower mintage coins or commemorative coins as we did in the first five hundred dollars. I don't think there's any need for me to speed the hunt up. I don't think. You guys will mind if I just quietly noodle through the coins and come up with uh, 
things to talk about as we go through them. Matilda with the memorial effigy. I did watch just recently a video that Matt Thompson from Thompson Coins put out with his thoughts on the memorial effigy and why he didn't necessarily think that they would be an ongoing collector item given that we get to see the King Charles III effigy on any of our coins. I don't really have a an opinion other than any time I feel like there's a, a coin that's unusual or different from previous coins that there's always some sort of coin collecting cohort that really loves those coins like myself I really love the Royal Visit coin in the 50 cent denomination where it's a one-off effigy although that's not particularly held in significantly high regard or has a particular higher value just because it's a one-off effigy uh, here's another remembrance gold poppy obviously not as in good a nick as that but definitely Still worth pulling out of circulation. That other one is, is definitely going to go into a flip. To try and keep that straight off the mint machine luster. So it really comes down to what people think about particular coins, about whether or not they are popular. Just look at the red poppy. It's not a particularly low minted coin. Certainly not, in my opinion, it doesn't carry the value of a, an over $200 coin, but because people want them and because there is demand from them, the prices will sit where people believe they are. There does seem to be quite a number of other coins out there that carry that sort of similar dollar value but have much much lower which is much harder to find even in the secondary market but I would assume that if we're going to really hold on to the value of those then they will probably only hold on to the value for it the medium term rather than long term. But we'll see, obviously. We won't get a lot of the memorial effigies in the lower denominations. The fives, the tens, the twenties, the fifties. They'll generally be not intended for circulation coins. One dollars. We'll have a lot of those. We'll have the uh, in the circulation. We'll have the Matildas, and then we'll have the big Aussie things that's coming up. So they'll be in circulation, and then the two dollars, obviously Matildas and the Vegemite coins. There'll be some around, but not necessarily all of the coins will be with that memorial effigy. So it'll be hard to figure that out, certainly in the next year or two, until some of the prices settle down. And this is our last roll. Doesn't look as if we had as good a outcome from the Armour Guard rolls as we did from the Prosiger rolls, which is interesting to me. Oh, that was a 17 I was hoping. 
hoping that was going to be something good. Another one. No, it looks like unless there's something hiding there. No, this doesn't look like as good a second 500 as the first 500. But it's good to be noodling anyway. Let's just put the things in that I did find and we'll say that we've got a low minted 2019 and what looks like a die fill 2018. Second one in, in a little while. We've got another gold poppy and we did get the 2016 Paralympics team coin which is quite nice looking and is difficult to find these days so it's great so that closes out the hunt finally a double hunt with double results really but this plum in my opinion is this spectacularly fresh looking 2012 gold poppy that's going to go in a flip that's fantastic that's a fantastic looking coin but again if you enjoy what i do please think about subscribing give me the thumbs up leave a comment about what you're finding in your area i'd love to hear it always love to hear where the coins are being found but i will be back for more noodling in a couple of days so i'll see you then bye